Hello and welcome everybody. This is Yenaman bringing you another Fleet Ops audio commentary. I want to welcome you uh, to the rematch of Beat versus Old Time Pro. Beat um, lost in this game about five minutes ago um, versus Old Time. Old Time uh, skew brushed him and uh, Beat didn't have a really good start and so he lost. And now he's out for blood. Um, I wonder what color Borg blood is. It's got a little oozy thingy. Um, people are scouting here. You can see both guys getting their scout on. And uh, optimize. And I will know shortly what... Um, probably a Martok. Um, Beat did an early battle yard last game over here in his natural. And we'll see if he does more of that. Uh, ended up and let's see if we can't see Susa's, and we do, so we do have a Martok Klingon here. He's going to go central, and so we're going to see a bunch of Quebecs and probably Sangs here shortly. So, Old Time Pro probably going to, as soon as he gets his Conduction Matrix up, out, and about, he'll probably put a forward const um, construct uh, assembly node and get basically a scoob brush again. That's what I'm betting on. Somehow I'm ex expecting uh, Beat to play a little bit more conservative. Um, and we'll see. So for all of you guys out there who are new to the community, welcome. Uh, we love you guys out here. So, you know, get online. Love to play you. Love to uh, get your skill set up. If nothing else, you know, you get some more play time in. Don't worry about your first 30 matches. Um, those are the, you know, your free losses, if you will. Don't worry about them. Uh, just get in there, get some experience, get some fun playing. Uh, this game is about the community, quite literally. Um, and so, you will help make the community better. So, let's see what OTP is doing here. He is, again, Collective Uplink. Where's his nodes level 1? Really expecting those level one here shortly, unless I missed it. I don't think I missed it, but um, and we do see the early early battle yard. So beat going for it's early battle yard strategy again. Sangs and Quebecs uh, with a nod towards. Uh, Vorcha later in the game. The question is, when is he going to go over to Vorcha? The Vorcha's got a blade of armor. Does great against cubes, but you still have all your smaller ships that are going to get targeted first, so they are going to be a little bit susceptible. Um, again, here we see Old Time Pro doing this forward uh, uplinks. These give the Borg a um, uh, a projection of power advantage as they can you know, build a ship and then reinforce that much much more quickly. You can see that this white scout right here has noticed this collective, this forward uplink, and we'll see what he does. He does about this. It, it is going to be difficult to get enough ships out on the board to uh, really challenge this. Could kind of keep them um, a little backed up a tad. You can see the old time pro has got a probe and a skew out here. Probably going to go over here scout this, see if uh, he's got the battle yard up. Yes, he's going to find that. And we'll see. Okay, so Quebec needs to come out here, do a little bit of damage. Beat, seeing his um, pathway was kind of cut off, smartly moves his ship up and out of the range of those two ships as Beat is waiting to get that second ship out. It does feel like the Klingons here have such a uh, just a hard time getting ships up. Here comes a Quebec, I'm sorry, a Katinga. Katinga getting in and out uh, or, well, out and, and then into the yard for repair. Beat is just going to have to be on the spot with that repair. So, Beat is looking good here. Here comes that second skew. So now we got a total of three ships up against the Klingons. Beat is going to have to 
Oh, beat, what are you going to do here? Old Time Pro is rushing you hard, and you just need to cycle. So, Quebec coming out of Cloak here shortly needs to get some of this stuff into the yard. Oh, man, this probe is going to go down if he can get it, but... Um, Oh, wow. Can he get into the yard? He does. Oh, and Old Time Pro waste. Um, oh, gets another one in the yard. Oh, no, no, no. That one looks like it blew up. Now, if they can get the probe kill, that's nice. Um, somehow this Quebec... Oh, they get the probe kill. The Quebec is actually going to make it into the yard. And so... Um, Beat doing a great job of cycling stuff here and is going to put enough damage really to back this Borg out of here. Uh oh, what are you doing, Beat? Don't be going uh, all crappy on me. So that was me going crappy on people. Um, so Beat doing a really good job of getting his stuff cycled in and putting that damage down onto the Borg ships, getting because Borg ships again. They have no repair yard, so they just have to regen over a long time, and scout cubes are not especially, especially these intercepts cubes, are not especially fast on regen. Old Time Pro um, still with his forward yard, uh, getting enough ships. Did lose only one probe. Uh, managed to get some kills on this. This Katinga is going to get his butt kicked. And Old Time going to get himself a kill. And these Quebecs are taking such a dadgum beating here. This guy needs to get cloaked. And is he going to get into the yard? No. Is it going to get in there? No. And he loses it. All right. So Old Time Pro is now back on his heels. And he needs to stay in and cycle through this guy. Nope. Didn't get... Um... So this Quebec is going to get... Okay, so Old Time Pro is beating on this cube. Question is, where is his other Quebec? Um, he's going to need it here. This he, even this constructor is doing an excellent job of dealing damage, but Beat is slowly losing his mining fleet. But you see that he has such a large. He still has a large amount of resources. He just can't get. Um, he just can't get the fleet. You know what? I would almost want to see is uh, this that uh, support vessel out of the star star base, the Kaduge, just to get himself a little bit more firepower um, from another yard because he's not really producing any sayings out of this guy. Um, maybe he's scared that he's going to lose something. And old time pros again back on the pressure. Here we see just enough ships to get kills and really this game is about getting those kills and he is getting those uh, Starbase putting a little bit of uh, hurt down um, another dadgum miner getting getting sent to good old Stovacor uh, as it welcomes another ship and old time pro is just almost dadgum perfect with the distribution of uh, Starbase fire across his ships. Fleet are in perfect position to uh, spread that stuff out. Really, I want to see a Kadooge. Really, that's what I think Beat needs to do. He needs to throw in a Kadooge, give himself a little bit of extra firepower, give him a little an extra um, tanking. But no, he is insisting on going for that armory and going for those Vorcha. I don't think that uh, Old Time Pro is going to let him get Vorcha out on here. You can see that he's completely foregone any sayings. Where are those Vorchas? Might as well throw those up if you've invested in that armory. See these um, four ships here. And they're going after structure kills now. Oh man, oh man, oh man. There's a Vorcha. And here come the Klingon ships. They need to get some kills. This Katinga going to not get into the yard. That probe. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did he get it? Oh, yeah. The Borg got it. And that is nasty. Borg are just able to get... Oh, and that peripheral skew getting all that extra damage. Look at those guys having this extra proton torpedo uh, adapted. No miss. 
No miss for you, senor. We're going to have about another minute. Yep, got a whole minute. Got to wait on that dadgum vorcha. So I really think that is going to hurt really bad. This constructor is taking a lot of damage away and managing to um, survive and get into the yard. Beat, uh, is this GG from Beat? Beat feeling, uh, a little bit of pain here. Let's see what sort of fleet he has. Oh, not much of a fleet. One single Quebec. And old time pro, having lost only a, a probe, is sitting pretty. Let's go see where he's at on 26... Yeah, old time just commanding, um, commanding control of the board. Here comes that single Vorchot. Not going to be, I mean, this will be great for the defense, but just not going to have enough offensive power on the board to um, do anything. The old time pro is just going to take his cubes and just run around. Uh, just go around this guy. It's a medium range, so medium speed. But this ablative will help. I believe it's, what, 50% uh, resistant against those short range. And, well, that's what the cubes are. But, um, yeah. So the injured vessels, good old uh, put your injured vessels in a group all by themselves move by the Borg. And here we see... Uh, Beat is bottled up, sitting on zero resources, and the Borg just camping, camping on his, uh, camping on his moons, camping on both moons. So, um, wow, what is what is Beat going to do from here? Got two ships. I would almost say he needs to um, decloak the Vorcha first by itself, or maybe he could just pop all his miners, or, know, or something. Looks like he's going to get them back into the setting up shop, at least get some stuff in, and wow, 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 what is B going to do here? That Vorcha just waiting on something. Uh-oh. So the one thing about unloading is that you're now going to go and mine. And that's not a good thing, because those Borg cubes are... Re uh oh here we go. Yep, yep. All right, so it's the bait, and there's the Katingas, and here is Old Time Pro knows it. He's like, I know that sh those ships are there, just waiting on it. All right, so Old Time sensing a trap, smelling it. That's what you got to love about these... Uh, these I'll, I'll go ahead and call pro a pro here. He just smells when a trap is. He's just like, I know what you can do. I know what, when you're going to do it. And yep. Yes, he did. <laughs> I love Katingas. They're just such a unique, cool uh, feature of the uh, Klingons. As you just suddenly like, eh, you know what? I want some firepower. I think I'll get some. And that's what he did. So, Borg are a little bit backing away from things. Oh no, a constructor getting caught all the way in the bottom. All right, so we got four cubes here. What is what is this fleet going to do? So Oh, and looky there, there's a sphere. Do they Oh no. Do they go after it? No, can they get the skew? Can they get it? All right, so we have a 30 second. Can they get it? Decloak, go for it. Kill, knock this thing out. You can't be wasting time. Go for it. You've got 20 seconds. Oh no, this is all over for, okay, all over but the crying, baby. All right, 20 seconds. They are gonna get it. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. They needed to get out of the star base range, but that skew, oh no, the sphere is gonna get up in 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Ah, oh, they can't kill it fast enough. No, Old Time Pro is going to get out of Sphere, and it is going to wreak havoc. Oh, yep, time to time to cloak out. Time to cloak out. <laughs> and look at that. I honestly think a Sphere that has been taking um, uplink damage cannot, should really, should not come out 
um, perfect health. I mean, that is so uh, that's so wrong. Um, they they should have some. <laughs> Old time pro is like oh, and I really think that beat if he had gotten there, mm, two, three, maybe even a second more, he could have got that kill. But uh, now as it is, beat is going to be. Oh man, what is beat gonna do here? Beat's got no mining. Uh, no production anywhere. Beat has, economically, using his cloak here. So, that's at least good. He's going to get some, maybe get some kills, cloak out. And we'll see that Otime Pro just does not have, oh, there's the EMS cube. Where's the sphere? Sphere, sphere, sphere. Sphere looks like he's going to come over here and try to take out a station. So, um, let's see, is this a torpedo? Nope, that's a holding beam. Nope. Um, yes, it is. One way to uh, prevent stuff from moving around is uh, you know, I'll just holding beam it. You can see this. God dang, this sphere is just going to burn through. That's a two holding beam and a beam. Is that what this sucker is? Nope, no beams. No torpedoes. Looks like a two regen, and no, that's a. Wow. Doing a little decom here on the Klingons, knowing they can't can't deal with that. So, what is he going to do? Old time pro smartly moving his uh, now somewhat vulnerable fleet back into the base. So. Uh, be trying to get a leg up here, trying to affect the Borg, and just can't. Um, this sphere is going to be super nasty, taking uh, a little bit of unnecessary damage here, as uh, somehow... Is he got it? Do, 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 do. This uh, sphere taking a lot of damage, but uh, regen will be able to cure that real quick. Again, he doesn't have regen here. I'm sorry. There is no microtech on this guy. This sphere is actually a little bit of a sick sitting duck. And uh, this fleet needs to get into the... Uh-oh. Beat is now in trouble here. Oh, and good old holding beam. May actually get a... Uh... Looks like he ran out of energy. Yep, did. And so, uh... But is going to get that kill, that holding beam doing exactly what it needs to. Here comes the rest of the Borg fleet. <sighs> Beats in so much trouble now. He is, he is totally... Totally whacked. Um... He is going for some kills. He just doesn't have enough of a fleet. Old Time Pro can just move back his collectors and um, not worry about too much. A dote on the board. And here, these guys coming in after. Yep, really choking him off. And, uh, oh, the good old peripheral skew. Make sure there's nothing in the... Nothing in the vicinity cloaked, and uh, they're just trying to beat the crap out of stuff. You see this, this moving around of these cubes. They're going, are they seriously going after the starbase with all of this? A little bit of micromanagement here as stuff is moving around. Let's see what uh, the Klingons doing down here. Oh, they did manage to get something. But, um, wow, they're trading. They're not trading star bases. Even though this guy got upgraded a little bit. And, uh, looks like. Looks like uh, good old Kayla Station is going to get its butt kicked. Didn't get upgraded, didn't have enough. Um, 
or even an off well it does have an offensive upgrade but not really worth it at this point in time and down goes Kaylee station here in about mm, some odd number of minutes these guys uh, beat having given up really at this point in time as he is now facing starbase fire and this is GG really um, at some point I am really impressed by how much uh, Old Time Pro is cycling his ships here. Tanking it like a pro. And this star base is going down. Constructor kind of get a little on the action. And beats star base is dead. Oh, and going for the insult. Grabbing this Klingon. And, wow, getting everything. Alright, folks, this is Yaniman signing off. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you online. Please do. Um, and leave comments, feedback, love it. Support your other players and support your commentators. This is Yaniman signing off. Hope you have an enjoyable weekend.